Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Mayan. I'm 27 year old from Israel. I'm a solo traveler in South America. At this moment, I'm visiting my dad here in Los Angeles. I'm very excited to announce that I'm about to embark on a new adventure in South America, starting in Cusco, Peru, which I'm gonna live there for two months. So for this trip, I'm going to hike a lot and also I'm gonna start doing treks. My first trek is going to be the Ausangate, five days trek, so excited about it. So yeah, in this video today, I'm going to show you what I need to pack for my day pack. And on another video, I'm going to talk to you about what to pack for a four, five, six days trek. And of course, I'm going to do the Salcante trek to Machu Picchu. I'm gonna go there three weeks after I'm landing in Cusco just because my only available ticket I could find to enter Machu Picchu was on November 4th. But yeah, so I'm going to land in Cusco on October 13th. On October 16th, I'm going to start my first trek to Ausangate. So I'm so excited to talk about it because it took me so long to find the perfect bag. The one that it's super comfortable, super light, just the perfect bag. I mean, like, I'm not gonna talk so much because I'm gonna show you and you're gonna understand. My name is Mayan, 27 year old from Israel, solo traveler. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. I'm so excited, very, 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 very happy to do this vlog. For me, it's eight days until I'm gonna fly to Cusco and start this adventure. My excitement right now is in the sky, so let's start. So after looking for a very long time, um, I finally found the perfect day pack to travel, hike, trek, whatever you need to do when you're out there on the mountain and exploring. And for me, something that was very important was to have a really nice and comfortable um, waist belt. I went to REI here in Los Angeles, in Burbank. I found it. You have here the way to um, close in your chest and you can make it smaller bigger the way you want you have a place you can put your um, stuff here it's uh, water resistant I'm not sure it's water uh, proof but I mean that's great I also I'm gonna have my own um, water cover for my bag in case it's gonna be raining but that's amazing so this is the flash 22 REI day pack. In both sides, I have a place to put my water. It's very long, so it's very good and protective. And when I'm putting it down inside my bag, it's literally covering all of it. On the upper part, I have this, um, the hat, like the head compartment. You can open it. And here you have a zipper. So I decided to put here, um, some Advils in case I'm gonna have headaches because I'm going to hike in uh, Peru in very high altitude places. So I guess I'm gonna have some headaches and some altitude sickness. I hope not, but just in case. I also have here my ear pods. Something to cover my head because while I'm traveling and hiking, I realize there's, I'm always starting with my hat, but then there's sometimes I don't want to put my hat because then it's like covering everything. I can see, you know, the view. And I realize when I'm walking with my hat, I'm just like, I'm looking less at the view and I'm seeing less because like it's like blocking you and you're just like looking at the ground, your steps, like, you know, talking to your friends, but not soaking up as much as I could if I didn't have this entire covering of my view. But I usually get like really um, burn on my head if I'm do if I'm not wearing a hat and it's super hot. So I got myself this, just like something to cover my head. Where is the mirror? Oh. Yeah, so I can find a way just like to put it, cover my head, and then still enjoy. It. Yeah. So that's not an obligatory thing, but I don't know. I guess it's gonna maybe help me i'll let you know after i'm hiking machu picchu if i use it or not yeah and um another thing i have here it's this so my hiking shoes are not gonna be hiking boots silicone shoe cover for rain and mud and everything 
stuff like that. It's not slippery because you have uh, those like stuff underneath. And you just put in your feet inside with the shoe and everything. And it's covering your shoe basically. So yeah, I got these ones in case it's gonna rain, it's gonna be tons of mud. And I really wanna protect my shoes. And you can pack it super tight and super small. So yeah, I have those ones. I also have here my rain poncho. Super cheap one, super basic one, just in case, very handy in the upper compartment. And um, lipstick, in case I'm gonna get dry and you wanna have it handy. So yeah, that was the upper compartment. Here on the side, I have my uh, water bottle. Then let's open. So when you're opening the bag, um, you just need, it's like Osprey. You have those two parts here. You just open it, click them out. And then here you have this place. You're just like pressing on this button and then you pulling it. It can get open like super big, as you see, for a 22 liter backpack. So that's how it looks like in the, the inside. You have no idea how light it is. I mean, I tried all the bags in the store, you know, trying day bags. And I was trying to figure out how many liters do I want to have it like um, the bag because I was like, well, I don't want it to be too small. I have some, like lots of stuff to put, but I also don't want it to be like, you know, like a 25, 28 liter backpack because then it's just huge and you, you're walking so much every day. And I'm like, no, I want it to be light, you know, I don't want it to like be hard on me. I want it to be super light, super small, exactly for everything I need. And I found it to be the perfect bag. So 22 liter backpack, it's really good size. Okay, so inside what I have. First of all, and the most important one, my snacks. Now my favorite snacks are the trail mix small packs of almonds and cashews and you know all the stuff from Trader Joe's I love it so much so yeah I just put like a bunch of them inside and pack it all in one small bag so it won't like spill in my bag and everything so I have my snacks in the bag I have a mosquito spray super important so I put those stuff here in my bag, you have the place to put your water um, bag thing for the trails. And then here you have like this small um, hole so you can take the straw out of it. And then next to it, you have two small packets. So one of them I put this one and the other one I put my sunscreen. I got um, four in one performance. It's like a sport cream stops up to 97% UV rays, resists sweat, heat, and water. So yeah, I found it really good because it's gonna be super hot. I'm gonna sweat a lot because during the days in Cusco and in the hikes, it's hot. I mean, I'm gonna be wearing a tank top, you know? I'm gonna sweat. So yeah, I wanted something that's gonna protect me for a really long time and really good. Also, I have my passport in a cover and other than my passport I have my yellow book of vaccines and um, my California driver license and credit card so yeah that's important because I'm gonna hike to Machu Picchu and in the entrance to Machu Picchu you need to, to bring your passport and those kind of stuff so yeah and I also I'm gonna have some cash here also uh, some dollars but Peruvian solace in case because you need to buy you know the hot water from the showers when you're getting in the night to the towns and also some snacks if you have on the way or another rain poncho if it's um, something happens and then there's a place I can buy on the tracks very important and then so this is um a packing cube water resistant that I put here all my jackets that's really important because in case it's gonna completely rain in the um, in the trek 
and my cover is not gonna help or my water resistant bag is not gonna be helping to uh, block all the rain from going inside the bag. I don't want all my jackets and all my clothing to get wet as well because I have only one coat, I have only one jacket, only one fleece that I'm gonna be wearing every single day. So I can't let it get wet and not get dry until the next day when I'm gonna need to wear it. So I found this one on Amazon. I'm gonna put the link down below the video for you to be able to get it because it's really good. Um, it's very light, it's very good, it's very strong, so good quality and you can um, make it smaller and I found it so good, you know. So that's the small way of it. Now when I'm opening it, look how big can it get. And there's three sizes, so that's when it's open and you have a place to hold it here and I cannot explain to you how good the quality is. So inside of here I have my coat, the North Face, size small, black for women, yeah so that's the coat, super good, I have a, oh, I have capuchon, um, like a head part, and also I have here those elastics so I can like tight it on my body, so the heat, the cold won't come in from the under, underneath it. Close it really good. I have two pockets here with zippers. It's really good. Um, some elastics here. And this one, when I'm closing it, so it can go really high, like a turtleneck, and protect me from the cold um, air, from the winds. Yeah. Hi. Underneath it, I'm gonna put my um, Patagonia blue fleece. I got it from REI as well. I took size extra small because I wanted it to be tight on my body and really protect me from the cold because I found it when it's like, you know, like your size or a tiny bit bigger, like if I would take um, like a medium size. So it was very, I tried the medium size on the, in the store and it was very big. I mean, like it was fluffy and I could feel like air coming underneath everywhere, the sleeves from here. And I was like, no, I need something tight on my body to really, really like try to hit me because I'm not bringing me with me very thick, big stuff and heavy stuff that can protect you very good from the cold because I don't have place. I'm packing very light and I need to be able to hold it and put it inside of it with other jackets and other stuff that I have. So I can't really have something very big. So yeah, so that's the one. As you can see, the fleece is very thick, and very thin, but very nice. It's so, it's so comfortable and so nice. It's pretty long, so you can, it can cover you until your hips. And then let's close it. So yeah, that's the fleece. Um, it's so comfortable, very nice, very elastic, I can move with it, I don't feel anything that's like stopping me from moving comfortably in while I'm gonna hide. And I also have my beanie, um, I'm not sure how to say this brand, Flafjalraven, but that's the beanie, I got it also from REI. And that's like a brown, yellow, mustard color. And then when I'm hiking, so during the mornings, I'm gonna be probably wearing my uh, tank top above it, maybe a long sleeve shirt or no, or just the sleeve. I'm gonna have my beanie and of course my coat.
Yeah, so I'm gonna be like that, getting out of the house. And as you can see, matching colors. I have my blue and I have my mustard color and the black. So yeah. And then I also have my rain jacket. I got it from REI a year ago, I think, or like almost less, maybe. Um, orange, very thin, very nice. So that's, um, yeah, that's an REI jacket. Here, I'll show you how it looks on the body. So I would wear this one um, when it's already like the middle of the day, the sun is really strong. Um, I'm not cold. I don't want to wear, you know, like this heavy, it's not heavy, but it's very, very strong, very wind blocking also um, jacket. And I want to have something thin that will not like heat me so much. So yeah, in those cases, I will wear this rain cover, rain jacket. In those jackets, you can have them like a bit bigger if you want, because you don't need to really protect you from the cold. And it's actually even better if it's a bit bigger because then it just covers more parts of your body. And also in this one, I have here the elastic so I can make it tighter on the body. You just pull this one. And then yeah, here I don't have on the other side. It's only one side, the elastic. And let's just do it like that. And I have here like that. You can close it also very high. Here I have some elastic, but it's not like very tight on me, of course, because I took a size medium. That's the bag, the bag. So as you can see, there's this like part here. You see, there's like a hole. It's very breathy, very good for occasions when you're hiking and it's hot and you really, like you're sweating or anything, but it's raining and you can still breathe with it. It's not crazy, like hot. Yeah, so I also have this one in my bag, tampons and day pads and some um, period pads. So I got these ones. Um, I got it from Colombia, so I'm sure there's everything else, like everywhere else you can find those stuff also. But it's like a big pack of pads that for each one of them, you have also uh, like a wipe. I found it so helpful, especially when you're going outside, hiking, traveling, and like you just grab one like this, you have the wipe and you have this one. Oh my God, it's like a lifesaver, so yeah. I got here like, you know, like a mix of all of them and then I put it always with me in my bag to have a charger, phone charger and also different stuff charger. The, ca the cables are already connected, it's part of the power bank and also there's this part so I can charge it without even anything. It's insane. It's like everything in one thing. I don't need anything else. I don't need a cable to charge it, to plug it. I don't need any other cable to connect it to my phone. Everything inside of it, it's not that heavy. It's pretty small, compartible. It's strong. There's 20, um, how do you call it? 20 MAH. So it's pretty powerful. Um, so here you just like press on the button, you open it. It shows you how many percents it's uh, charged. Yeah, so just press on it. I put it here to protect it, that's it. Toilet paper and also plastic bags. Some trash or anything I have on the way.
just putting this one here. The first one to go. And then let's put my power bank. Tampons. Toilet paper and my bag. I'm gonna put here on the side because I need it to be handy. Snacks. You see? That's how it looks like right now. And that's it. So yeah, now I can close it. There's still so much space. I mean, I can put more stuff inside. But for now it's good. Closing it. here now Now my other two stuff are my hat. It's gonna be either on me or if I wanna put it on the bag, I can take this part, this elastic, and then put the hat inside. And then I can connect it here to this other part, right here. Then I have this one, that's an ultralight black hole heat pack from Patagonia. That's how it looks when it's closed. You can close it and then um, hold it like that. So I could just put it here. I have so many places on my bag I can put it. Um, let's put it here just for a moment. And then when I'm not using it, I can just put it there. You see, it looks like that. And then when I'm opening it, just need to unzip it. And then flip it inside out. Let's close now the zippers, the big one. And you have a hip pack. So I will put it here. Then I just like tidy it down a little bit.
And yeah, so I'm ready. I have my hip and I have my bag. It's perfect, like the size, everything. I just love it so, 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 so much. And you can make it like smaller, bigger, like you can, you can literally do everything you wanna do with it. It's amazing, I love it. And yeah, and also this so cute Patagonia hip bag. It's insane, I found it on REI when I was in the store and I was like, oh my God, this is so cute, I just want it. And I saw this girl on YouTube, she was talking about how it was so helpful helpful for her to have this hip pack when she had her day pack on her and just like in the front to like be able to put your stuff. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope it helped you plan and to maybe figure out better what day pack you wanna have, something smaller or bigger than what you were thinking of, maybe to give you some ideas with the hip pack as well and how to pack and what to pack inside. Oh, and also, if you guys have any questions for me or uh, one of the links uh, are, is not working or like it's out of stock or I don't know, like you have any new ideas or you travel and you found out that something that I did was not so helpful and you have any better idea, please tell me. I would love to hear it. I would love to read about it and respond back to you guys. So uh, yeah, talk to me. Like uh, if you have anything to say, just write it down. And thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye.